47 games into the New York Mets season, and it's been good vibes right now in Flushing as the Metropolitans are atop the National League East. Here with me to talk about what's going on with the Amazons is New York Post sports columnist Ian O'Connor. Ian, good to see you. So your latest column examines how the Mets have been keeping it together despite injuries to their aces Jacob deGrom and Max Scherzer. So what's been holding this team together? Well, chemistry is part of it because Buck Showalter told me last night that he's been managing 21 years. This might be the best group in that context he's ever had. Here's a guy who had a team with the Yankees in 94, could have won the whole thing if the World Series was played. Of course, it wasn't, and had a 100-win team in Arizona. So that took me back a little bit that after 46, 47 games that he would say that. But beyond that, they're playing a really good defense. Obviously, their second-tier pitchers have held up here with the injuries to DeGrom and Scherzer and McGill. And Diaz is having a big year. He was brilliant last night. And they're not hitting a lot of home runs, but they're scoring runs and aggressively running the bases, putting pressure on the opposing defense. They're running everything out. They lead the, uh, the world basically in infield hits, it seems. And so you put all that together and you have a 30 and 17 team. That's what you have. Now, Ian, chemistry is important, no doubt. But we also know that talent matters, the talent that's on the field. So should Mets fans be concerned that chemistry might not be enough to keep the winning going until their aces return? Sure, sure. And maybe sometimes chemistry is overrated and it comes down to talent. And but I think it's better to have it than not have it. And you look at the schedule over the next month, starting next Thursday uh, at the Dodgers, at the Padres, the Angels. Then you have the Brewers, you've got the Astros. And so without your top two or th three of your top four pitchers, uh, particularly the, the, the two guys who are Hall of Fame pitchers down the road, that's going to prove or test the Mets to the max. So uh, if they can weather that part of the schedule, and it's good that they've built a cushion here, the biggest divisional lead in baseball at seven and a half games, that's going to help. If they can protect most of that, until their aces get back, they should be in pretty good shape. But certainly, as Showalter told me last night, once we hit a long losing streak, that chemistry will be challenged and tested, and we'll see if they can uh, weather that storm and, and get through it, and, and when their aces come back, still have a sizable lead in the NL East. You're right about that. Nothing tests chemistry like losing or adversity, and that Mets schedule is going to get tougher over the next few weeks, we will see how that chemistry holds up. That is Ian O'Connor, New York Post sports columnist. Ian, good to see you, and thanks for joining me as always. Thanks, Dexter. Appreciate it.